If you don't know me, my name's Stuart, and I want to invite you to a Sailor's Gully Eagle Hawk community apple pressing. This is my apple press. It's rather large. And here is a medium-sized dog for scale. I first got into juicing apples because I needed to do something with all the masses of fruit that I've been collecting from trees going wild around me. And there's, you know, there's only so many you can eat. There's only so many apple pies you can bake. But the reason I've got such a big press is because I love sharing the process. Now, my favorite bit is actually picking the fruit. Love going out with the kids. How you doing? My butt hurts. Your butt hurts? Yeah, I need a pillow. I'm in a you need a pillow. You need a pillow. Get back to work. Oh. There's some apple juice there. I love going out with friends. And, and even if I can't find anyone to come with me, I just, I just like doing it by myself. The kid's favorite bit is throwing the apples into the scratter, which is the machine that pulverizes and grinds up the apples. Sarah's favorite bit is when the press starts pushing down and all the juice starts flowing out. She just really loves it, just starting to, seeing it all starting to bead and then flow and then trickle down into the troughs. And I think everyone loves catching the juice as it's coming off the press or just dipping a mug into the trough. And if you like apple juice, as good as the juice is from apples grown in an orchard, juice from wild grown apples is a whole nother level. Now the reason I'm doing the video is that I'm hoping that a few of you will want to join us in a community pressing. So how can you participate? Now, the first way you can participate is you can let us know where the trees are to be picked. Now, if you have seen a tree that's got apples on it as you've been driving around, or you know someone who's got one in their garden, or even if you have one in the garden and they don't want the apples, or even if they do want the apples, but they would like them pressed, then let us know and then we can coordinate who goes where to do the picking. And what I'm hoping is that we can coordinate two or three households to come together to go picking, you know, one, two, three, four trees, whatever, not just to get the fruit, but to share each other's company. Once you've got the fruit picked, you can keep it at your place or you can drop it off here. And we'll organize a community pressing in about two or three weeks. So that'll be, you know, mid-March sometime. How we organize that pressing, we're going to have to be flexible because we don't know what the restrictions are going to be at that time. Now, worst case scenario, a select crew of people will operate the press and everyone else can you know, park there and, and watch us. And we'll deliver juice to your car. I'm, I'm along, I don't think we'll have to do that, but that's the worst case scenario. Is the main aim of this whole process is to enjoy each other's company. But on the day, everyone will get as much juice as they can drink, and there'll be a good amount of juice that people can take home and drink at home, but it starts to ferment really quickly. So if people want juice for the rest of the year, we can pasteurize some. I've got all the gear on how to do that. Or if people would like to have a crack at making cider, we can do that too. Hope all that makes sense. Uh, if you know where a tree is, put the uh, a Google pins, a really good way to let us know in the comments. If you want to be involved in the picking, stick your hand up and we'll try and coordinate different groups of people to do the picking in COVID safe way, of course. And um, yeah, let's have some fun. Let's drink some apple juice. Bye bye. That is real good.